Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar review the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days it is going to remain very unsettled throughout this upcoming working week but it is going to change in terms of temperatures it's been incredibly mild the last week or so seeing temperatures as i've said in the last few videos getting up towards 17 18 degrees last week but by the end of this upcoming working week many will struggle to get much above six or seven we are going to see some cold polar maritime air moving in from the northwest as we see the jet stream push southwards not only encouraging very unsettled and potentially even very stormy conditions but also colder conditions as well nothing widespread and severe we'd require a northerly or easterly to see something like that but definitely a lot chillier than it has been recently temperatures back down to average or below average and the risk of some winteriness does return for areas in the north and west especially over higher ground as we'll see from the latest GFS, GM, East and UF, and the ensembles, that sort of pattern is likely to continue for the rest of February, being relatively chilly and fairly unsettled. And even the GFS today is producing a real big storm, perhaps next weekend with a very southerly tracking low, with winds up to maybe 70 or 80 miles per hour once again, so even a named storm risk with that sort of system. But we're going to have to keep a very close eye on that, as we are going to see lots of oscillating between the models inevitably when we get a pretty unsettled stormy pattern like this but definitely a change coming still going to be pretty horrible in terms of precipitation but the temperatures are going to cool down quite significantly compared to at least last week so do remember if you enjoy my videos which you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in description now, if we start by having a look at the latest from the live radar, you can see that big area of rain that did have a widespread yellow rain warning issued last night is now clearing into much of northern Europe. Big wall of rain and a pretty complex and sophisticated low pressure system there with quite a big hook in it. Didn't see too many strong winds for us, but you're perhaps seeing those winds develop across parts of Europe now as the low pressure does really form. Uh, into quite a complex system but luckily all that rain is now cleared and it's not really our worry anymore left behind are a few heavy maybe even thundery showers you can see across sort of the m4 line there you can see a few of these showers got some yellows and oranges in there which is some torrential rain again should move through fairly quickly they're not particularly large showers but still could be pretty disruptive for a short period of time as they move through but the rest of today it's actually pretty dry it's a, a lull between low pressure systems it's not going to last unfortunately but so uh, do make the most of it while you can now it is still fairly mild out there today uh, some temperatures probably into the mid-teens maybe 14 15 or even 16 degrees as possible in places but it is going to slowly descend over the coming days and there could be actually got a sudden drop during the middle of the week as we do see a cold front sweep through and um, we'll have a look at that in on uh, on the ukv now so do start on the uh, precipitation from the UKV. You can see all that rain heading through last night, clearing away, giving a few heavy showers on the backside of the low. Through Sunday night, we are going to see another weather front move in, but it's much smaller, weaker weather front, so it shouldn't bring too much in terms of heavy rain. But into tomorrow morning could be some thick cloud and a few patchy showers around. Into tomorrow afternoon, actually another relatively dry day, but a few showers around again in the north and the west, perhaps some persistent rain starting to re-emerge for parts of Scotland. Into Tuesday, we see a more sophisticated weather front here with a bit of a school feature perhaps along it. This is the cold front sweeping through, and this does start to introduce some properly cool or cold polar maritime air. It does sweep through, and you can see another big low appears for Wednesday, and this really does bring that change. A big sudden drop in those temperatures from well above average to well below average. And you can see the very unsettled uh, convective pattern we'll see behind this. Is if you just look at the next couple of days from Wednesday onwards, lots more heavier showers, even thundery showers, and you can see snow across higher ground of Scotland there. That continues to Thursday, lots of areas of convection taking place. It's a very unsettled pattern with very low pressure and with cool air. And that continues all the way through Thursday. And again, another school feature developing. So it could be really quite horrible later this week in terms of that precipitation. And of course, some of that could fall to snow. Plenty of pinky purples appearing here 
uh, especially over the higher ground, but you couldn't even rule it out for a few wintry flakes, uh, growl pool or sleet to low-lying areas, especially overnight. And that just continues into next weekend, right, set into Saturday, Sunday. The GFS actually has a bit of a named storm uh, or named storms type system appearing across parts of southern England. Now you can see the sun change, temperatures a good few degrees above freezing at 850 HPA at the moment. And by next weekend, look at that, a good few degrees below freezing at 850 HPA. Again, it's not minus 5 to minus 10, which is sort of sort of pattern we need to see for widespread cold and widespread snow becoming a possibility. But nevertheless, it still is chilly. The dew points are dropping substantially down towards the low single digits, if not below freezing, compared to around the double digits at the moment and if you do look at the mean level pressure by next friday we're all around the 980 millibars or even below that further north 960 further northwards so that's why there's so many heavy convective showers around because that pressure is so low and ecb wind gusts are pretty strong as well nothing ridiculous but we're still looking at perhaps lots of 40, 50 mile per hour pulses coming through that unstable westerly flow. If we did see a little localized low develop like the GFS does, then those winds could really ramp up. Uh, and that is something to keep an eye on over the next week to 10 days. And if you look at those max temperatures, you can see through this afternoon again, 13, 14, maybe even slightly higher possible in a few locations. Into Monday, again, relatively mild, not quite as, as mild, but around that 10 to 12 degree mark. And the same is into Tuesday, where again, could be 10 to 12 degrees. But into Wednesday, cooler air does sweep through initially, before we see that big wall of rain moving in, which has got another warm sector within it. But once that clears through Wednesday afternoon into Thursday, we're all into chillier air, and you can already see not getting much above 4 to 8 degrees for many areas and below freezing over higher ground further north and that continues into friday and you can even see overnight to friday we could see a return to frost with many areas seeing temperatures drop down to the zero one or two degree mark locally even colder than that now if you do have a look at the overall pattern from the latest gfs you can see it is a flat westerly at the moment that is all going to change over the coming days you see this big low across southern greenland dive southwards and then we see this really unstable westerly flow developing you can see the isobars are fairly tight but they're nothing ridiculous and that's why we're not looking at anything amazingly windy at least initially but it is going to be cool if we look at the upper air temperatures the minus five line is trying to get pushed in but because it is coming across such a long sea track is actually unlikely to get uh, particularly far into the country maybe western areas at best but in the days following that watch this loaded that develops on the southern edge into next weekend real severe low spiraling in from the southwest and that could bring incredibly stormy conditions if we actually go over to wx charts which shows this a lot better into Saturday, Sunday, you can see that low moving in, showing gusts around that 70 or 80 miles per hour through the English Channel up towards the south coast. And that is again one to really watch, could be a really deep area of low pressure. That again, the center of the low looking down to sort of 950, 960 millibars. Once again, it would be incredibly horrible if that did come through. But back to the pressure charts, you can see after that the low stays southerly, and that means we actually start to see a bit more of a northerly flow developing. Now the pattern doesn't sort of reset, we stay with this diving uh, jet stream across much of northwest Europe, and it keeps us relatively chilly and pretty unsettled right all the extended range into early March, typical uh, as we head into meteorological spring, we actually see a bit of a colder blast starting to appear, some very cold air exiting out of Greenland. Again, uncertain how much of this will actually get to the UK, but it is an incredibly cold air mass, potentially equivalent temperature. Look at that, showing you the extremely cold air exiting and the temperature deviation 10 to 12 degrees below average, starting to try to move in. So very interesting from the GFS. Again, it's not ridiculously cold, not got widespread snow or anything, but much cooler, much more unsettled than stormy, and potentially even something very cold towards the end of this run.
Now, if you look at the GM, it's fairly similar out to day 10 with that northwesterly flow coming in. Again, you see that low diving southwards, very unsettled westerly winds, not developing that low on its southerly track uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So a bit of a change to the GFS that is expected at this time frame, but still producing low pressures around and generally north to northwesterly winds, keeping us pretty unsettled and pretty horrible all the way out today 10 uh, with that northwesterly wind still seeing chillier air masses trying to push in so a continuation of the chilly conditions we've seen from the gfs the cwf is fairly similar again the westy flow over the next couple of days then that northwesterly blast appears not seeing that slowly tracking low anywhere near as severe but perhaps seeing some potential there of development but not really coming off staying uh, say really low in terms of that pressure very low heights across much of the uk for eventually we see a northerly wind come towards the end of this run again no major blocking to the end the wind isn't actually that cold but it is relatively chilly keeping us in that cooler air before eventually the high topples and we see a bit of a westerly flow so actually all three runs are fairly consistent details of course have to be ironed out but all showing very unsettled conditions coming by these for the second half of this week and much cooler conditions or even colder conditions coming for some as well with that and even the longer term there is the risk of something a little bit colder than that coming in especially from the gfs and maybe hints here from the ecmwf now, if you look at the latest on you can see this very distinctly the next sort of three days or so still well above average and then by the middle of the week we see a sudden drop by around seven or eight degrees to average to below average and as i said it's not remarkably below average it's a couple of degrees below average and it stays there for the foreseeable future some very cold runs but not too many which gives the indication that we're not looking at anything major in terms of northern blocking which would force much colder air but you can see no real change in the precipitation staying very unsettled and really quite horrible indeed um this is the latest ccmwf sorry i'll show you the gfs in a minute but very strong consistency from the runs today if we look at the two meter temperatures uh, again dropping down to sort of the low single digits further northwards but for london probably around the mid single digits around that six seven eight degree mark overnight temperature down towards freezing and if we do look at the winds as well you can see a little bit of a pickup there towards the middle of the week but again lots of spread so uncertainty exactly what sort of conditions we will be seeing and i said if we go back to the gfs again very similar much cooler by the middle of the week and lots of very unsettled conditions you can see the operational run there that just does develop that low that is suddenly tracking produces a huge rainfall event there as well if you look at the wind speeds you can see again a little bit of a pickup during the middle of the week Again, we'll have to keep a close eye on that. And if we look at the sea level pressure, you can see a big drop. And the GFS, you can see that with its very severe low moving through at 964 millibars through parts of southern England. So it is going to potentially turn even more disruptive over this upcoming week. It's going to stay very unsettled and perhaps even get even, uh, even more unsettled than it's been recently but i think the biggest change is going to be those temperatures it's going to go from well above average to slightly below average so even though the conditions we're going to be seeing aren't anything out of the ordinary it is going to feel a hell of a lot cooler than it has been recently uh, and although it has felt like it's almost like we're in spring now we're going to get a reality check this week with temperatures back towards what they normally are through february and march and of course as we have seen over the past few weeks southern stress very warming is looking likely or at least a very weak polar vortex is looking very likely over the next couple of weeks and that could delay any spring weather uh, through march and even it maybe april as well so cooler conditions perhaps could be here to stay Again, not saying anything majorly cold, but definitely cooler than average conditions could be around at least for the next week or so from around Wednesday, and maybe even longer than that, depending on what happens up in the stratosphere. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you stay safe out there. If we do see some very stormy conditions this week, I'll keep, of course, updated. And I'll see you again for another video soon.